Well, hey everybody. Uh, my name is Willie Lawson and this is the Saxophone Factory. If you like the Saxophone Factory, subscribe and click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos are uploaded. Um, and we're going to get some more videos uploaded here in, in just a little bit. Um, I wanted to I want I wanted to do this very very quick video uh, about about coronavirus and uh, what I think that students should do and I've always sort of I've always not even sort of I've always had this excuse me let me change this to where I like it better there you go uh, I've always had this opinion about reeds and 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 cleanliness and this kind of thing um, even in non-coronavirus times um, if indeed you have had coronavirus and have recovered I'm, I'm thrilled but there's something that you should do and and sometimes we don't think about it um, if you've had reads and that you played on at the time that either you didn't know that you had the virus or times where you actually had the virus whether you were symptomatic or not switch those reads out throw those old reads away um, use something to disinfect your instrument there's all sorts of things you could use you could wash it uh, with some um, soapy water, um, alcohol works great, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, you can take your mouthpiece and wash the inside and outside of your mouthpiece um, with uh, hydrogen peroxide or alcohol. Uh, you want to not boil it because if you've got a hard rubber mouthpiece, it, it, it will deform the mouthpiece. So you don't want to boil it and you don't want to put it in the microwave, obviously. Uh, you don't want to melt it. You just want to clean the inside out and the outside. And you might even want to, if you are very careful and see what I'm doing here, you see that I have my finger protecting the pad. You might want to run either alcohol or hydrogen peroxide inside your neck. Because these are, the, these are the parts that are going to be closest to your face, obviously, and have, and have your spittle, your spittle, in them. So you want to clean these out. And you want to replace your reeds, the reeds that you use. And I know it's probably the best reed you ever had. Um, you got to replace it. Okay. Um, if you you can get some of this stuff here, and, and this stuff, the you know, the pink juice is available almost everywhere. It's Sterosol, and Sterosol. Let's see here. Um, you can rinse your mouthpiece with water, then spray some Sterosol. Wait two minutes. Rinse it again with water and then wipe it clean with a, I mean, with a clean cloth, and that will work. It's for brasses, as well. So if you play trumpet or trombone or or or, or, or tuba or, or whatever, you want to make sure your mouthpiece is clean now, and sterilized, which is probably what you wanted. And this is something that I've done all the time. You know, you get a cold, you get a sinus infection, you get the sniffles. You want to make sure that your mouthpiece is clean and your, your reeds are clean when you when you come back to playing them uh, for sure um, some people are, are like well you can take those reeds and you can uh soak them in you know what in listerine or or alcohol or hydrogen peroxide and i guess you can uh but my thought is it's a it's a bunch easier to just to throw them in the trash and get new ones right there you go. Alrighty, that's all I got to say today. We're going to be producing new videos very soon. Uh, apparently, I don't know, but I'm missing uh, lesson three. Uh, I'll, I'll be recording that first. Uh, when we start recording again, hopefully in a couple of days, hopefully next Monday, we'll start recording again. Um, we're going to finish up the uh, the jazz series in, in, you know, in, in, in the coming weeks. Thank you ever so much for subscribing. Uh, and for paying attention to what we're doing and getting benefit from it, I hope that it get you know that it um, that it offers some value to what you're doing. Thank you ever so much. Um, and like I keep like I keep saying, no matter what, just keep playing. Peace.